News Bulletin. John Ross Ewing III, three-week-old son of oil magnate J.R. Ewing, has been kidnapped. The baby was taken from his crib in the Dallas Memorial Hospital earlier today. So far, there has been no word from either the police or the Ewing family concerning the possibility of a ransom demand. It's really something else, ain't it? Somebody just program. walk in the hospital, pick up a baby, and walk right out again. Abby? Mommy? I just heard a radio report. Is it true? Yes. Oh, I can't believe it. Did the police have any idea? Uh, no, apparently nobody saw, nobody heard a thing. Pam, have you seen Cliff today? No, I just stopped by his office, but the secretary hasn't seen him all day. You don't think Cliff had anything to do with this? Yes, I think that's a pretty safe bet. It could have been anybody. Just anybody who kidnapped you. Cliff couldn't do something like this. Pamela, every time that we've said that in the past, we've been wrong. Now, frankly, right now, I think Cliff is capable of doing anything. Not kidnapping. Honey, he as much as told me yesterday he was planning to do just that. Stop reading things in his words. He didn't... Don't take his side in this. Not this time. I'm not taking his side. Why don't you be reasonable? Bobby. Where are you going? To find your brother. Please don't do that. Pamela, how many times is it going to take for you to understand just how much your brother hates my family? Or that's all anyone knows. It's not much. That's probably Bobby. Let me. I'll get it. Wait a minute, before you start swinging, let's talk. Not this time, Barnes. This time you've gone too far. Bobby? And you knew he was here all along, didn't you? Wait a minute, I just got here. Can't we talk? He didn't know anything about it. You'd swear he could walk on water if he told you. That's not fair. Would you wait a minute? I want my son. I'm going to have him. I did not. I repeat, I did not kidnap him. No, wait a minute. You can push me around the room all you want, but that's not going to solve anything. I think we should try to figure out who indeed took him. For God's sake, listen to him. I swear I did not kidnap him. I wasn't even in Dallas. He's telling the truth. Let's stop wasting time. We can beat each other's throats tomorrow, but today, for today, let's try to find my boy. They're so tiny. They're so, so tiny. tiny. Bobby? Bobby, I just remembered there was a woman here every day I came. She used to be in front of the nursery window. Bobby, she used to stay there for hours. If she was here this morning, she might have seen something. Well, who is it? Is it a patient? Well, I'm not sure. She isn't here this afternoon, or I'd have recognized her. Let's go ask the nurse, see if she knows me. Mrs. Duncan, do you remember me? You're the lady from the hospital. Come on in. Uh, can I, I get you a cup of coffee? Uh, I have some ice cream in the refrigerator. No, thank you, Mrs. Duncan. Oh, you can call me Priscilla. What is it you wanted to talk about? Or are you one of them social workers? No, no, I'm Pamela Ewing. My nephew was kidnapped from the hospital this morning. Did you hear about it? Oh, yes. I saw it on the TV, uh, uh, on the news. I saw a picture of the baby's mother. Poor lady. You know, I, I, my baby was premature, too. That's why you saw me so many times at the hospital. I, I was visiting him. Yes, I know. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Nurse Barker told me that you were there this morning. I hoped that maybe you'd seen something that would help us find my nephew. Well, I was only there for a short time. You didn't see anybody near the baby? I don't even know which baby it was. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. It's a terrible thing to lose a baby. Yes, it is. If, if you do remember anything, would you please call me? <laughs> 